Chris Chinock here for Display Central and the um, QD Vision booth here at Display Week. And uh, they make quantum dots and they package it in this thing they call, uh, well, it's, it's an optic. It's quantum dots uh, that have been boiled down into a, uh, into a, a solid that they put into a, a glass and capsule and they put into this thing they call a micro cup. And what this is is a, uh, a plastic uh, container, basically, that has strips of LEDs uh, and then the, uh, the optic, quantum dot optic on top. Uh, and the plastic uh, micro cup act acts as a, uh, a, a retro reflector and directs all this light now into the edge uh, of, the, um, uh, of the light guide. So the only thing you really have to add that's different uh, from standard light guide and backlight construct edge that backlight is this piece here. And this already has the LEDs, so not much additional uh, components to add. Uh, the, big, the big news from the company here at Display Week, uh, actually was the news was announced at, at Computex, is relationships with, uh, with three companies. Uh, one is BOE, uh, a very large, uh, in fact, the largest uh, Chinese uh, panel maker right now they, with 56% 50, uh, market share in China. Uh, they also have a relationship with TPV, a huge uh, monitor and other uh, display maker on an OEM basis for lots of companies, in including Philips and, and others, and a relationship with, uh, with Shine On, an, a maker of LED devices. So the announcement uh, for uh, BOE, actually a BOE showed and they will be making now 23.6 and 27-inch monitors. Uh, TPV will make 27-inch uh, monitors. Uh, and then um, there could be there could be other announcements that uh, QD Visions talked about for later on this year uh, with TVs uh, as well. So it's it's clear that um, you know these major monitor makers have have looked at the competition, have looked at what this uh, what this technology offers in comparison both to OLED uh, and in comparison to the alternative way to get uh, expanded color gamuts in um, in LCDs. So the other way to do it is a as a panel. Uh, mostly marketed by uh, the LG display uh, that uses a, a white phosphor with, with a, uh, a green phosphor on top, I'm sorry, a red phosphor on top of that so they can get extended uh, red uh, gamut and get an expanded color gamut. Uh, that's expensive. So um, what, what uh, QD Vision says is, that again, these monitor makers have looked at the cost and have decided to go uh, with the, uh, the, this, this direction. So you can see uh, the results in the back of me here. Wider color gamut gives you deeper reds. That's on the Sony TV over here, uh, compared to kind of an, an orangey red on the other side. Uh, that's just kind of the, the obvious things. Uh, but you'll get, uh, obviously, uh, wider color gamut, more saturated colors. So I think, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the mostly the key news here from uh, from QD Vision, uh, Chris Chinock for Display Central.